Hello, my name is Umit Jem Yildirim. I was born on August the 26th, 1993, and this is my uh, video review of common, typical, metallic Western cutlery. Now, uh, I am doing this review. <coughs> Apparently, a Japanese girl on the internet is coming here to England, and she wants to know about Western cutlery, because apparently they only use chopsticks in Japan. So yeah, this video is for you. I'm I'm sorry. I know I've kept you waiting for far longer than I should have. Uh, hopefully, though, I will reward your patience with a good review. Now, <coughs> what you have here is a metallic <coughs> typical fork. Uh, this is a, this is the smaller version. Um, it's hard. It's strong, uh, and. Uh, it's it's metallic so it's very strong it's good to hold it's easy to use not clumsy at all here I have um, a very common uh, meal in England eggs uh, I made it myself it's not very nice um, I've never been good at making eggs but I am looking forward to eating this despite that because I am hungry now here you see me using this fork to uh, pick pieces up off the eggs uh, as you can see <coughs> <coughs> it works quite well. Now I'm just going to put this into my mouth. Okay, I'm sorry about that. I'm not going to do that again. <laughs> put another piece into my mouth. Oh man. I know I don't do the best egg in the world, but it still tastes so good when you're hungry. Um, and now here, this is a, a regular spoon, just the same as that really, but it's a spoon. <coughs> now spoons like this are pretty much for desserts, to eat uh, things like cakes and stuff, you know. Then you have this, this is the standard, this is a proper spoon. <coughs> for everything, for, for you know, for things like sugar and salt, digging it up, sugar, picking sugar up, putting it in the tea, you know, uh, for taking liquid medicine, for soup, for having soup. The, these are good for everything, spoons like this, for cake. Now, this is a knife, but this is a butter knife. So, these are mainly used for spreading butter. But they can also be used <coughs> as to cut all food. Um, now, preferably, here, here, here is the bigger version of that fork. The, this is the standard common fork, which is this. You use this for everything, really, in terms of dining. Um, now, usually, when you eat food over here, you use these two things, mostly. Knife and fork. Uh, let me let me just demonstrate it because that's the best way to eat because you use the fork to cut the food up and you use the knife to cut the food up and you use the fork to put the food in your mouth let me let me show you now let me just put the camera here like so yes you, you can see you can see the food there now now watch me use these two to eat the food hopefully you'll find this informative now I'll just carry on talking while I eat eat this food now, as I said, I'm very sorry. Uh, uh, I can't remember your name. I'm not very good at remembering Japanese names. But, uh, I'm very sorry to keep you waiting. But you have to understand, there's a lot of other things I have to do as well. Especially on YouTube. For example, I've been very busy <coughs> uploading my own, my uh, Call of Duty 4 <coughs> Modern Warfare multiplayer gameplay footage. But hopefully, you like this review. 
and hopefully it's very it's it will be it was helpful to you and I hope it's what you wanted so uh, here you go here you have it English cutlery Never done a review of cutlery before. So, yeah, I uh, I actually deliberately cooked this meal. So that I could uh, show you, and I made it. I actually deliberately made it. <coughs> I actually deliberately <coughs> made it a very uh, typical meal in England. I mean, <coughs> people, sorry, people eat eggs all the time in England. So hopefully, so I wanted to give an example. These two right here are your basic cutlery set for, for meals. A knife and a fork. Metallic like this. It's, this is the most common, most standard basic one. And it's what people use to eat most of the time. I just wanted to show, film me using the cutlery to eat a typical British meal. So, a common meal in England so I could show you... Uh, what what it's like, you know, how how you use them and stuff. So <coughs> hopefully I've rewarded your patience. Thanks for watching. And uh hopefully you found this useful. And uh if you enjoy my videos, don't forget to uh add me as a friend and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.